to my channel. Um, I'm very excited to be doing this, very nervous, but um, I wanted to do this to maybe help somebody else who's in my situation. Um, you know, I've been a cereal dieter. I've, I've tried just about everything out there, um, from keto to calorie counting to, um, you know, the diet pills, the shots, um, isogenics. I've done just about everything out there and it all worked for a short amount of time. Um, and then I got tired of it. I couldn't stick with it. So, um, these are the top tips that I have done this time to help me lose weight and stick with it. I'm currently doing Weight Watchers. It is, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get paid to say this, but I am currently on the blue paint plan and uh, since August 5th and I am down just a little over 20 pounds from my highest weight. I'm down a little over 50 pounds. Um, again, these are just some of the tips that I changed from my previous attempts to now um, and um, so far I'm doing really well. So if any of these, some of these you've probably heard before, but if anything um, or if any one of these can help you then I did my job. So um, the first thing that I want to get into, my first tip is you need to sit down and have a conversation with yourself. Um, why do you want to lose weight? Uh, you know, for the longest time, I always said, you know, I, I want to see my collarbones. Now, do I want to see my collarbones? Absolutely. That hasn't changed. But is that my sole motivator? No, because when you get in the thick of things and things get tough to see my collarbones, is that going to pull me through it? Absolutely not. Um, so now I have an almost five month old daughter and um, she is my whole world, but I want to be around for her for a very long time. And I want to be the mom out there playing and running and taking her places and not getting winded, um, you know, you know, 20 feet, 50 feet, whatever. Um, I don't want to be on the sidelines. So as much as it is, this is for me, um, it's equally, if not more for her. And that in itself has totally changed my mindset. So is it nice to say, oh, I just want to be skinny? Sure. But you need to have a reason, um, that actually means something to you, something that's going to pull you through those tough times. You know, losing weight isn't just about the physical aspect of it. There's a lot of mental um, difficulties that go into it. It's, it's, it's very tough. And sometimes the reason, you know, we're overweight in the first place, or at least my reason, um, it, there's a lot of trauma or, um, you know, I, I've turned to food for comfort. I've turned to food when I'm sad. I've turned to food when I'm depressed. I binge eat. Um, so that is the mental side of it for me, um, but it is very difficult. This is not an easy thing, um, which brings me into my next point is you need to have a support system, whether it's a significant other, friends, family, um, and maybe you don't feel like you have any of those people, or maybe like me, I was embarrassed and I didn't want to share that side of it um, in the beginning. So what I did, it started as an accountability thing. I created a different Instagram handle um, and it's just for my weight loss. So it's WW underscore Brittany. And um, that way I knew if people were following me on there, then they truly wanted to see the weight loss side of it. Um, and embarrassment reasons as well. I just didn't as much as I wanted to show my before picture, there's plenty of people out there I don't want to see my before picture, or at least I didn't. So um, creating that different account has truly helped me, and you'll be surprised the amount of support that you get from complete strangers. Um, sometimes you get more support from them than <clears throat> people that you've known for 20 years, and it truly is an amazing community, and I'm not just talking about Weight Watchers, but anything that you do, find find that support system, whether it's somebody you know, somebody you love, or a complete stranger, you're going to need that support system at some point or time or another. Before starting any program, um, you need to do your research. 
like I said, I've tried just about everything and I, you know, there's a lot of things that I can't give up or won't give up. Um, so for instance, I tried keto and I lost a good amount of weight in a short amount of time. Um, but it wasn't sustainable for me for many reasons. Um, one, it really messed with my gut, but two, I don't want to give up bread and I don't, I don't want to give up pizza. You know, those are like, those are things that I eat often. Um, so for me, it wouldn't work. Now, if you're somebody who can give up all the carbs and all that, then, you know, maybe that'll work for you and that's fine. You have to find what's going to work for you. Um, before I even started, I made a list of things that I didn't want to give up when I decided to join Weight Watchers and I have found healthier recipes for things that I enjoy. So not only does it fit into my lifestyle now, but I'm losing weight and still enjoying the things that I love, which is, you know, that's the whole point of it. Is you don't want to think of things like a diet, you know, that's short term. You want to think of a lifestyle change, something that you could sustain for long periods of time to not only lose the weight, but then maintain. Um, plan your meals ahead of time. I know that I backtrack whenever I don't have a plan. Um, that's when we typically go through the drive-thru or, um, you know, I eat something that I probably, that's not the best for me because I didn't plan ahead and in those, you know, in a, in a short amount of time, you, you gotta get something ready for dinner or what have you. Um, and that's when you don't pick the or make the best decision. So always plan ahead. It doesn't have to be concrete if you, um, I don't do weekly plans, um, but I try to do at least a day or two in advance. So say if you do the weekly plan and you plan something for Wednesday, but on Monday, you whatever your plan doesn't sound great, you can flip and flop things around, but at least you know you have the ingredients in the house and you have a healthy option to make, so. Um, do not drink your calories, points, whatever you have. Before I started Weight Watchers this time, this is my third time on Weight Watchers, I believe. Um, the first time in the new program, but um, I was still drinking whatever I wanted and then I couldn't figure out why I was hungry all the time. Why well, I didn't have enough calories or I didn't have enough points left over for the day to eat. So um, this time what I've found is I'm doing, um, I have a hard time drinking water. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but um, I do like the Crystal Light packets and it's funny to me because I can drink a bottle of water with Crystal Light in it in about three seconds, but it takes me five days to drink a plain bottle of water. I don't know, but um, I do the Crystal Light and then um, Walmart has a brand of water that I Drew had actually posted about and it was, it's either clear American or American clear or something like that flavored water. They are so good. And I do not, I cannot do the carbonated water, but these are so good. Um, and they don't leave, at least the ones I've tried so far, they don't leave this aftertaste in your mouth. Um, they are so good. I even got my husband hooked on them and he, I can't believe he's drinking them in the first place, but he loves them. He actually, um, you know, ask for them, um, especially the cotton candy. We do love the cotton candy. Hard to find, but delicious if you can get your hands on it. Um, also, like Gatorade Zeros. Um, I can't drink caffeine right now because of my daughter. She doesn't tolerate it with the breast milk. So if I do need like a, a pop or whatever that I do, like the Diet A&W, um, and actually it's not bad. I don't do it every day, but just, you know, when I feel like I need that. But find lower point or lower calorie drinks don't drink the full ones the full calorie or full points um, or you're gonna end up being hungry and then you're gonna fail at your whatever program you're doing because you're gonna be hungry so um, track everything even if that means putting you over for the day or the week or what have you be accountable for yourself um, you know starting in the beginning it's gonna be tough because you're if you're like me, you're used to these big portion sizes and eating whatever you want, whenever you want. So then you try to cut back and you're going to be hungry. Um, so if you're over your points, you know, say you're over, I don't know, if, if for Weight Watchers, for instance, say you're over 10 points the first day. And then the next day you're only over a couple points. And then the next day or even the next week, even now you're getting your points in and you're satisfied 
um, you're tracking your progress. So don't don't get something for four points and only track it as two. You need to be accountable for yourself. Um, you're not going to do yourself any favors by lying, by putting in, you know, different points or calories in that. Um, so track everything, even zero point stuff for the Weight Watchers. Um, I found if I hit a plateau or I had like a bad day, I don't weigh myself every day or I try not to. Um, there's a few times where I do it, but um, I can look back and say, okay, how many zero point foods did I have? Or how much salt intake did I have or you know what I mean so intake or track everything that you're eating and drinking um, next take all the pictures I don't have many pictures from when I was heavier I didn't want to be in front of the camera um, I didn't like the way I looked it was kind of um, like a almost like a gut check for me to see myself. I didn't see myself that way when I looked in the mirror. So to see it on the lens or the picture or what have you, um, it was it was terrifying. Um, and I couldn't face that. I wasn't ready to face that yet. So I don't have many pictures when I was bigger, but you're gonna need to take pictures because there is it's inevitable. You're gonna get to a point where you hit a plateau or maybe you gain weight. Maybe you're working out and you're gaining muscle and muscle does weigh more than fat. So the scale is gonna go up. But compare those pictures side to side from a week ago, a month ago, from the beginning of your journey, and you're going to see a difference. Um, that has helped me keep going on um, a lot of days. And you know, you're looking at yourself every day, so you don't notice those slight differences. But when you do a side by side comparison, wow. Like I just did one. Um, my husband and I got family pictures for the first time with our baby just a few months ago, maybe two months ago or so. And I compared that picture to a recent one and I was shocked. So take all the pictures. It's, it might be uncomfortable now, but you're going to appreciate that later. And lastly, set goals and have rewards for them. Set small goals. You know, before I had 120 pounds to lose, I got very overwhelmed and um, I would quit because I, you know, I couldn't even, I felt like I couldn't even put one foot in front of the other. Um, so now this time I set small goals and when I reach that goal I have a reward set aside for it and I starting out I would not use food as a reward um, you know we're trying to re retrain our brain here to think of food as nourishment not you know whatever it is to you but um, so for instance when I reached my first goal I got these the cutest shoes but they had a matching pair for my daughter so we got matching um vans they're leopard print and again i saw it on drew her um instagram they were so cute i had to have them but that was my first goal so when i reached my second goal which i'm really close um my plan is to get new scrubs so not only will i need them but who doesn't like to go shopping right um but that is my next goal and that's something i get to look forward to and every day i put on the clothes that i have now and they're getting baggier and baggier i know i'm getting close and it's such a good feeling but uh, so those are my top tips for now. Um, I plan on recording another video this weekend. Um, I have a package coming, so I'll be trying all that on camera. I'm pretty excited about but um, Go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you want to see more videos. Um, I will probably upload another one this weekend, but if you have any questions, you can message me down below. Um, find me on Instagram. Like I said, it's www underscore Brittany. Um, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.